Good morning. We're just leaving our campsite. Not a bad little road. Deeper hole in the underwater than I thought. Let's not splash all our firewood with mud. Let's clean these windows. Gee, dusty or something. Oh, there were a lot of mosquitoes, that's for sure. <coughs> Not bad at all around the campfire. We had an uh, insect repellent candle and then two coils burning kind of in the background. And that kept most of the mosquitoes away from around the fire. <coughs> Left the fire, came back very quickly because of mosquitoes. <laughs> Stay around the fire. Yeah, as soon as it gets cold, they, they went away, but it was plus six today morning. A little on the chilly side. A little warmer than yesterday. I don't know what the temperature was, but it certainly felt warmer than yesterday. <clears throat> yeah, leaving the water in the lake. It's not necessary. The water stayed perfectly fine. <laughs> the water was cold enough in the morning to fill up our bottles and put in the cooler. Another side road. And I'm prepared to stop. Road closed, bridge out. Right bridge repair. Actually gonna repair a bridge down here. Doubtful. <clears throat> so we'll bring the quad to Penticton and see if uh, we can get it fixed right away. Hopefully it's simple as, as a stator and just replace it and <clears throat> hopefully have it in stock. Yeah, there's a nice lake in there. There's so many lakes up there. On the right hand side, there's a lake hidden in there. Our GPS still has no idea how to get out of here. It's just saying, nearest road is behind you. Even though the near ro nearest road might be behind us, the nearest exit to this direction. <clears throat> There's not the direction we came in. We came in from the other direction, from the Tulamine side of the lakes. Now we're exiting towards 5A side of the lakes. And that road way down there must go to that lake. <clears throat> Oh, we're coming out of out of Aspen Grove. Okay, cool. Oh, now it says the road, nearest roads in front of us. We must have switched from uh, Highway from the connector to Five uh, A over here now. <coughs> Kayaking was so much fun yesterday. That oh, was just so beautiful. Mm. Yeah, I had some burgers and s'mores. It was definitely good. 
shame the quads down or else we'd be go quadding again. <clears throat> that's okay. It is what it is. Let's head down, see if we can get someone to fix it today. If not, we'll probably head out tomorrow to go to some little lake anyway. It's been another two days out. Yeah, it depends how much it's going to rain. It's, going to, it's supposed to rain quite a bit here, so we'd rather be in the Okanagan anyway if it's going to rain hard over here. Okanagan, it might not rain nearly as much, so if it's going to rain, we're not going to go camping, but we'll see. <clears throat> Three kilometers to go. Yeah, this would be very narrow road if it was active logging. I need a four by four on, just so that my tires don't spin on these sharp rocks. I mean, there's no need for four by four as far as anything else but my rear tires might spin and then if you spin on one on top of those sharp rocks I'm gonna cut the tire down pretty easily so <clears throat> I've learned to put in 4x4 four four whenever they're sharp rocks Yeah, the birch trees are really beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely a beautiful place. I was talking to our neighbor there yesterday, and he says these lakes get incredibly busy on weekends. <clears throat> everybody from around the area shows up for the weekend, so it gets quite ridiculous. So that's why he comes during the week. Yeah, there's only four campsites in that little lake area we were in. Four, and then the other side of the lake had another two. Now, I don't know what they had on the north end, but... <clears throat> and he said they get like 13, 14 people in those campsites. And it's like, yeah, not for me. Note to self, don't come here on a weekend. So, it doesn't look like we'll be exploring it again this year. <clears throat> Maybe next year we can replan this trip again. Well, there's so much we to see and do. So. Yeah, it depends where we're going next time. I uh, want to do Greenwood as well. Greenwood's got some cool places, old abandoned mines, cool little lakes. Yeah, so much to explore. Yeah, it's just local, uh, close by. We've got lots to explore close by, and there's places further away too, so we'll never run out of new places. I guess the places we repeat at is ones that are close by and convenient for short runs, short weekend runs. One thing I like about Sawmill Lake is it's really rough to get in. <coughs> Because it's rough to get in, it usually means less people show up. But that place gets pretty busy too. 
I refuse to go on a long weekend. Nice to have people get RVs up there. Yeah, people get their RVs up there. I don't know how. Like, they must be scraping branches everywhere. <clears throat> Ripping off AC units. This road is really decent, so I can see why it gets busy. This is where you would expect a bear, lots of grass. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think it came back to our campground again last night. I didn't see any sign of bear. No, uh, no claw marks anywhere. Fire was left alone this time. So I don't think he came through again, but yeah, I could be wrong. He definitely didn't hang out long if he did. Might have just passed through type of thing, but... <clears throat> kilometers Oh, how, how much distance a bear covers in the day? I don't know. That thing could move quick. Well, yesterday he was paralleling me for about a kilometer, but... <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how big a bear's territory is. Aren't bears pretty territorial? Hold on to their territory. One. I didn't see the two. You guys see the two? I didn't see the two. I didn't see when I look up and they don't have service. We probably have cell service now. My radio would only tell me if I have my Bluetooth on. Everything's cracking and creaking. You think the door's gonna fall apart? Oh boy. It's a lot more crack than I'm hearing. You're getting deaf, remember? I'm getting deaf. This is true. I am going deaf. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs>
see in some of those tire tracks, some people have driven along here fast enough to be drifting the corners. <clears throat> Do they think they're the only one on the roadway? Always scared I'm going to meet one of those people on the roadway. I love drifting corners too. Not if there's going to be two lane traffic. A big split over here. No signing going toward that way. It might be just. They, they, as in who? Forestry. Oh, forestry. Okay, logging, logging down that way. Makes sense. That looks all <coughs> The roads aren't new, but yeah, there's lots of new signing and markers, so yeah, they might be actively logging that way. And now there's a new two. <laughs> so that, that was zero, where that road split up, so now we're at two on this road. <clears throat> Which means it is further out this way than the other way. about two kilometers further this way of course you have to drive a long gravel highway on that other side <clears throat> and I'm making the assumption every time that the most used road is the right road to get back out Becoming a more maintained road, though. There's a little Memphis Ranch around here somewhere. This would be definitely a good place for a bed and breakfast. Just as a bed and breakfast ranch over here somewhere. <coughs> Come down here, stay at the bed and breakfast, and then drive up for day use. Like yeah, a really good way of getting rid of mosquitoes and camping. And um, yeah, our neighbor said the reason why these lakes get so filled is because the fishing is so good up here. <coughs> Yeah, definitely we smell smoky campfire. Whew. Still trying to wake up. 8 a.m. now. Woke up at 7, packed up all our stuff. So it's taken us half an hour to get out of here. We left at 7.35, so... Takes a little over half an hour to drive. Nine kilometers. Of course I'm driving quite nice. I could be driving a lot more aggressive, but. like fresh greater marks here. So they're definitely maintaining this part of the road. Mm. It's 
go this year way. Highway 5A is a little sign. Yield to logging trucks. Yeah, logging roads. Logging trucks have right away. They built the roads. Clear. So the fact that they're maintaining these roads means that they are actively logging up here. not to go fast enough that the truck wants to drift. As much drifting, as much fun as drifting would be, not a good idea with a trailer on. That looked like some kind of ranch there. We're on Pike Mountain Road. Okay. And they have a few geocaches right Oh yeah. Lots of geocaches up here. We're gonna quad and do some of those. Yeah, we found one. Found one. This wasn't completely waste as far as geocaching. We've got one. Actually, I maintained a highway here, so. so. That is 5A. We have found 5A. AP Western Ranch Guest House. Or Guest Ranch. I'm trying to place exactly where we are on 5A. <clears throat> I've driven this road enough. I should be able to place us pretty quick, but. Delivers for free, but I don't know how long distance that might just be <clears throat> the service or the delivery truck going from one small Lord Co to a big Lord Co delivering parts to a small Lord Co. <clears throat> <coughs> Well guys, thanks for watching. We'll figure this stuff out and we'll see 
if we're done camping for the week or if we're going to do some more up by Sawmill Lake. So, if you get a video from us yesterday, or if yesterday, if you get a video from us tomorrow, it means we've gone camping. If not, we're at home playing computer games. <laughs> Hopefully we went camping. I'm, I think we were gonna go camping. That's my prediction, but we'll see. <clears throat> so yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.